Hello everybody, I am here to read my chapter from this beautiful book. So in December, I think it was December 1st, this book was launched and we became international bestsellers authors in less than 24 hours. Thank you to our beautiful team, Anna Pereira and all of her amazing people. So I am reading my chapter, chapter six. My name is Debbie Prediger and I am from Alberta, Canada, and I'm thrilled to do this for you. So chapter six, empowering you, stepping out of fear and choosing love in five steps. My story. Oh, the headaches, how they'd wake me up in the middle of the night. The throbbing pressure was unbearable. I was so good at ignoring the pain and pretending everything was okay and just pushing through it. Even in my sleep, I could feel the sharp stabbing through my head, my shoulders, and the numbness moving down my back. The doctors couldn't find any reason for the pain. I had so many tests and procedures trying to find answers, and the test always came back clear. We can't find anything wrong, Mrs. Prediger. And although that should have been a relief, it wasn't. There was something wrong, but what could it be? I was so tired of the doctors telling me to take pain medication to mask the symptoms. In fact, one of the doctors asked me what I was taking for pain and how often, and when I replied I wasn't taking anything, he slammed down that big file he had on me and said, well then, you're not in enough pain. And that was the end of the appointment. That experience knocked me backwards. I started to believe Maybe it wasn't that bad. Maybe I should take medication and minimize the pain. Looking back, I can say, thank goodness that when I tried to take the pain pills, I would get dizzy, nauseous, and then throw up. I'd rather have the pain, I said to myself. Even today, I could hear Tony Robbins say, life isn't happening to you, it's happening for you. This is definitely how I see it looking back at that pivotal moment. For years, I lived like this. Nothing worked. I was too exhausted to keep searching for a doctor to give me the answers I was seeking. What was wrong with my body at its core? Not just the headaches, but what was causing them. The last test I had was for a brain tumor and the one before that for multiple sclerosis. I was so sick of feeling sick and tired. Enough was enough and I had to figure this out myself. That's when I discovered energy work. It all sounded a bit crazy to me, but what did I have to lose? One healer led to another, and I started to find relief from the constant pressure in my head, the dizziness and the numbness in my neck, legs, and back, which were all better. I was shocked. Could it be so simple as my body was out of alignment and energy couldn't flow? Why didn't the healthcare system have a way of testing for this and treating it? I felt so confused and frustrated and started to question the healthcare system I'd been part of for my entire life. It just didn't make any sense to me that with all these tests and procedures, they couldn't find anything wrong with me or bring me any relief. Yet for the next six months after that treatment, I was free of pain, the light came back in my eyes and I could sleep again. Little by little, I eventually started to feel the numbness come back, and at first, it wasn't painful, but over time, it became just as bad. Hmm, time for a body tune-up, an alignment, or was there something else blocking the energy flow were the questions I started to ask myself. And soon, I found myself obsessed with learning from energy teachers such as Donna Eden, the authors of The Energy Medicine, Dr. Sue Mortar, author of The Energy Codes, and everything I could read on Chinese medicine, pranic healing, and eventually Bruce Lipton's book, Biology of Belief. I continued to follow the clues about energy fields, the chakras, how our thoughts create our reality through our emotions. Emotions are meant to be energy in motion, and when they're not in motion, it becomes stuck in your body, causing pain, discomfort, and even dis Ease. I started to ask questions like, does that pain I'm experiencing correspond to an emotion? Something I'd heard people say resonated with me and I had an inner knowing to go deeper with these questions, to keep searching. I could feel myself getting closer and I woke up excited to learn on a quest to find answers following my own intuition 
an inner knowing of what was real and what would lead nowhere. I discovered essential oils and at first, even though I was interested in learning more about them, I had a belief that I couldn't use them because smells made me nauseous and my headaches would just return. Perfumes, cleaners, laundry soaps affected me instantly and I avoided the cleaning supply aisle of grocery stores due to these overwhelming smells. Something about the essential oils kept pulling at me and one day I read an article about the frequency of certain essential oils. What is frequency? I remember asking myself and here's what I found. The emotional vibration analysis frequency chart measures every person on this planet. We are all vibrating at a very subtle Hertz frequency rate. Following my gut, I knew there was more I needed to know, so I researched who was the expert in these topics of vibration, frequency, our thoughts, emotional resiliency, and brain, heart-brain connection. Wow, I was fired up. Did you know that you can raise your frequency just by using an essential oil? Our thoughts are energy, and they're also on a frequency scale. In fact, we can't find a solution to a problem if we don't raise our frequency and our consciousness because the answer to that problem is not on that frequency. It is also fascinating, and it totally resonated with me. I paid close attention to where I was on the frequency scale. I was feeling all the emotions now that I'd stopped running from them. Guilt and shame are 20 on the scale. Apathy and anger are 150. Jealousy, regret, and courage are 200. Acceptance, 350. Love, 400. Joy, 540. Peace, 600. And so on. I was now on a mission to raise my vibration to love or above as my new normal. The scale helped me understand or visualize how far I needed to raise my frequency to be where I intentionally chose to be, discovering that I can choose my emotions. Wow, now that was freeing, empowering, and exciting. My goal was acceptance, joy, and peace. I thought I was always in the frequency of love because I loved others so much. However, what was missing was love of self, self with a capital S, the purest form of love, unconditional love and acceptance that there is. The definition when I search Google is true love is the commitment to objectively know myself as I am, to fully experience life as it comes to me, and to honor my potential by continually seeking ways to grow. Wow. This means to me that we are on a quest to discover who we are at a soul level and to continue to align, grow, and constantly become more of who we were created to be. Using essential oils to raise my frequency was the start of that quest or journey. And like everything else I did, I wanted to learn more. Why were some brands more powerful than others? Why did some brands give me headaches and others felt like pure bliss? I found Carolyn Mines releasing emotional patterns with essential oils book and that's when everything seemed to click. My years being a nurse, discovering how the human body was meant to work, I discovered where people experienced the pain or discomfort was corresponding to an emotion that they were either experiencing or running away from. The more I learned, the more questions I had. Thank goodness there was a lot of places I could find answers. So I returned to those books from Dr. Sue Morton, Donna Eden, Joe Dispenza, Bruce Lipton. Sure enough, the answers were there. I had missed them the first time. I always had a heightened awareness, able to follow the clues like bread crumbs. It was like the path lit up for me. I could hear inner whispers, words, phrases, and even new things that I didn't remember knowing. These abilities or gifts seemed to come alive again when I started to use the essential oils. I could see solutions and answers to every struggle. I was quick to decide and I knew answers intuitively. 
I was now doing energy healing and wellness consulting using essential oils in all of my sessions. In these sessions, I used a device to perform the bio-investigation of human body in a process known biocommunication. In short, it asks your body questions and then records the responses in the form of impulses it receives. I'd give the 30 plus page report to my clients and they would purchase the supplement or the essential oil that the device suggested. Many of the clients wanted more than just me using the device to test them and hand over a report. They wanted me to explain how their liver had anything to do with their anger that they were feeling or the worry that would overtake them. I was, al I was also interested in learning why the body was showing these signs and symptoms. Healthy bodies are in balance and they don't have pain, illness, or disease. So what is the root problem? I started to teach classes on essential oils, basic struggles, I saw in many of the clients, such as lack of sleep, exhaustion, overwhelm, self-doubt, worry, feeling of nothingness, lack of hope or purpose. And from these classes, I was asked to do individual consults to help them understand what their report meant. Connect the dots to the possible cause. I'm not allowed to diagnose or prescribe medicines, nor do I have any intentions of doing so, but these people were confused about what the reports meant and where to start in a total health plan. So I offered a service that was filling the gap. Clients that came to me for wellness advice soon realized I was different and that I was helping them on all levels of health and wellness. Emotionally, they were stronger, they slept better, their energy, energy levels were higher, their thoughts were much more positive as they recognized the good in most situations. Their intuition continued to get stronger and I often would hear my clients' worries or objections, or sorry, my intuitions continue to get stronger and I often would hear my clients' worries or objections long before they spoke them out loud. This is where the next pivotal point in the way I serve my, high, my clients and myself happened. Over time, and through many healing modalities, trainings, teachers, I learned to master the energy field. I learned that we have an emotional energy body as well as a physical energy body, and that channeling higher wisdom was a gift that I could use to help others. Today, I know that we have all the answers inside of us. In fact, we have everything we, all, we need already inside of us. We've just forgotten that very important fact. We've been taught to seek answers outside of us that comes from others or a pill or a thing. I help people remember how powerful they are, their thoughts, their imagination, the image that they create in their mind is the most powerful tool of all and it's free for every single person on earth. I empower people to remember their dreams their wisdom, and hear the whispers of their own inner truth. Sounds easy on paper, but old habits and patterns are driving the bus, and especially when they are in fight or flight reaction mode. The signature Empowering You Reset works on quickly resetting your triggered response, as well as that electrical zap of fear, anger, hopelessness, or anything that you're feeling in your body. Releasing these unwanted emotions before they get trapped in your body, causing deeper issues such as pain, discomfort, disease, is important to break free from the physical and emotional pain that builds up over time. Running from our emotions never works. We continue to pile thoughts, emotions, limiting beliefs in our body until it screams at us to release them. So here is the tool that I have inside of this chapter. Imagine this, your kids are fighting, hitting, screeching at each other in the middle of the grocery store. You're trying desperately just to get your groceries and go home. Breathing deeply, you ask them one more time, please be nice as you pay and leave the store. Thank goodness you're going to be home soon and your husband can help you unload the groceries, watch the kids for a bit, while you unwind before dinner. But as you take the groceries from the cart to put them in the car, the bag breaks, groceries go everywhere, the cart moves, scratches the side of the car, and the kids are still screaming. And you 
fall to your knees right there in the parking lot sobbing. The kids come to see what's wrong. They pick up the food on the ground and say, it's okay, mommy, we will help you. It will be okay. Meanwhile, your brain is telling you things like, you're such a loser. No wonder your kids misbehave. You're a terrible mother. No, no one else has anything like this happen to them. Am I being punished by God? What is wrong with me? Why does everything happen to me? It's definitely time for a 60 second reset. So the Empowering You 60 Second Reset is step one, acknowledge the experience that it triggered that emotion. Step two, name and feel the emotion. Step three, identify where in your body you're feeling it. Step four, use a blend of essential oils. I call the memory release blend to unlock the limbic system. It's one drop of stress away, one drop of frankincense, and one drop of lavender pre-mixed in a bottle and then placing one drop of that mixture on the palm of your hands, rubbing your hands together and tent that over your nose and mouth. Step five, breathe deeply. Breathe deeply and slowly into that memory, into that place in your body that you can feel that emotion for 60 seconds until you feel a shift, that emotional charge, that trigger lets go, or your perception changes. A new memory pops up. Other words are whispered, words of cheerleading and hope. I highly suggest to journal what you saw, felt, heard, and knew during the 60 second resets. New perspectives, new shifts, new thoughts have come to you. This can be repeated as often as you desire. If you're feeling anxious constantly, I highly suggest a full session that's designed to help you get out of your way, let the emotions that are stuck in your body be released. It's time, they're asking you to pay attention. So check in with yourself. Maybe this reaction is a deeper, deeper triggered reaction you touched on in a fight or flight response. Maybe it needs another layer or a full empowering you session. So I hope this makes sense to you. I hope that you've enjoyed me reading the chapter and I can't wait to hear your comments. If there's any questions or it resonated, and if you'd like to see a demo of me going through this five-step process, I'd be happy to send it to you. So please comment. Thanks everybody.